All right. It's time for my least favorite segment of the show because no matter what I say, people misconstrue what I said. Disclaimer. I like Goblin Slayer. I think it's a good series. When I list reasons on why not to watch it, it's not my personal opinion, but it's me looking for something that may turn off a certain group of people. I'm still traumatized by the Usagi drop incident and it shows. Hey everyone, this is Nomikai TV. I'm Cherry and welcome to Three Reasons Not to Watch Gamma Slayer. Roll that intro, I've stalled enough. Can you tell that I'm wearing the same outfit I wore last week? That's because I'm recording these as I keep going because I have the energy and time. Letting you guys know, know, you know, letting you know way too much information. Anyway, let's get started. It can be quite gratuitous for the faint of heart. So if you're uncomfortable with girls being, <coughs> then I don't think this series is for you. Mind you, you don't actually witness women being violated in such a way so often to be repulsed but the world lets you know that it's happening and they let you know it's happening on episode one. So I should just let you know as a kind person that this series gets gritty quick. It feels as there's no real end goal to the series at the moment. Now I know they're setting up something major in regards to the teleporters, but doesn't mean we even see a light to this tunnel in the first place. Now, the thing that I do think is a good thing in regards to the series is it's not on a grand scale or anything major and it has a very simplistic story. And there's actually an allegory in regards to PTSD that's actually in this series. That being said though, there doesn't seem to actually be an angle or a stopping point that can really be made as of right now now this is as this is coming from someone who's caught up to the manga and who has watched the anime obviously i haven't read the light novel if that exists but that being said i don't really know what the i guess the point of the series is at the moment so if you are more or less into a story where there is a middle or you know beginning middle end and you're actually wondering is there an actual coherent end well, as of right now, not really. I don't know what they're planning in the long term. I don't know what the exact ending would or could be. So, you know, that, that can be a downside for some people. And I just want to let that be known out there for the general public. <laughs> for what this series kind of starts off with, there's no real significant losses made. And it's kind of... A letdown and it makes it feel too predictable for season one it's fine but going into season two it can be a letdown death for the sake of shock is stupid and i'm not arguing for that whatsoever i'm primarily asking for a meaningful sacrifice to be made in the story and not only the beginning of it a good example of a character that was lost in a i'm gonna use i'm going to a totally different anime for this one but an example of a character that lost their life, which was done horribly, is Ost from Rising of Shield Heroes Season 3. When she died in Season 3, it, it, was, it wasn't good. It was actually not Season 3, Season 2, excuse me. In Season 2, when she died, it wasn't that good because I didn't really care for her character. And I think they could have done a better job making her loss seem like a big deal by actually introducing her much sooner. That being said, in regards for this series to actually have such a meaningful loss, I'm hoping that we actually do see a very, you know, a beloved character actually die. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that I want to see someone die. Someone die with a meaningful sacrifice. If I had to choose anyone, I would say probably the Lizard Man would be the best option to have him die in battle because that's the greatest honor he could ever achieve. But that being said, it does feel kind of like predictable that no one of significance dies or that's part of gang or at least a support character that we all love and enjoy. So keep that in mind if you are hoping to see some nice gritty and important losses made. None have really been made at all thus far. Goblin Slayer. 
This video was actually way easier to record than I initially thought. Once again, I want to let you be known that I actually like this series. I do like it. All I ask for you is just don't be mean, please. Come on. It's, it's Japanese cartoons, bro. It ain't that deep. Come on. I know you like the show. I like it too. It's okay. That being said, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, all that jazz cookies milk, and join me again next week for more anime of the month nonsense for character of the month. Yeah, we'll be doing an analysis on a character and see what they bring to the table. And this is also just an excuse for me to gush over a character, which is always nice. You know, I have I have favorites, obviously. Come on. You gotta like somebody when you watch an anime. And uh yeah, that's that's really it. This has been Nomi Kai TV. I'm Cherry. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.